wouldn't let me get that personal. He's a present. Oh, for whom? Would you believe a member of your family? Not Francis. <laughs> no, no, not Francis. <laughs> Uh, this member of your family lives out west, has a beautiful mother, a first-rate father, and a new best friend. Ah, that'd be my shot. Right on the money. I went to the apartment, but they were not there. No, Lizzie and Owen and Sean are all at the museum. Museum of Natural, Natural History. History, watching the you-know-what. Right? That's right. The dinosaurs are in, from China, I believe. Where's Joe and Siobhan? They're at the Botanic Garden in Brooklyn. What does a kid from Brooklyn know about growing? Trees, flowers in the rain, but most of all, quiet. A green and quiet place in the middle of the city. Well, this is what I knew. This was my quiet place. I want to bring Sean here, but I wanted you to see it first. Magical gate to a secret garden. Oh, honey. Yes. Want to climb over? Come here. No, we have to play by the rules. It's not so bad being on the outside looking in, though. As long as we're together. I'll never go anywhere without you. Don't make promises you can't keep. I said I will never go anywhere without you. Successful business women shouldn't have to sweep floors. You don't know anything about successful business women. I know you don't know anything about sweeping floors, Roger. Well, that, that's, that's true, Dee, but uh, most of what you've been saying lately is true. Well, do you think that's true? I don't want to see you. Go away. <gasps> well, there's no way to treat a cosmic soulmate. Ex, former, finito. Now, uh, that, that is not true. Are you making book? D, look, why don't we just, come on, let, let's put the broom away, and why don't you come over here and sit down for a minute and concentrate on what I have to, to say, because I think you'll like it. I hate this so much. What? I hate this tone. I hate the message. I hate the entire package that you come over here, and you think that you have to help poor, befuddled Delia and tell her everything's going to be all right. Now, wait a minute. Correct me if, if I'm wrong, but there have been times in the past when I have been able to help you, and, and you've been able to help me. And, and we're both much richer for it. Past tense, pal. You really are mad, aren't you? Oh, I am beyond mad. I am into a feeling that is unique altogether. Well, what I, what I have to say right now is also unique. You were right, and I was wrong. About what? Everything you said the other day. And that's exactly why I said it, Roger. Uh, Dee, I am genuinely sorry. You should be. This is a sincere apology. Oh, Roger, would you spare me, please? Why, why do I get the feeling that you're not accepting this in, in, in the vein that it's being offered? Oh, I am. Believe me, I am. Well, good. Then, Dee... Would you indulge me for a moment? Sure, I've indulged you all these years. I guess a moment won't hurt me. Good. I did try to embarrass you the other night when I walked into Sherry's apartment. Because you would hurt me and I wanted to hurt you back. And I know the reason why you wanted to hurt me. That's because when I came back from Australia, you, you thought that I had shut you off. And you were right about that, Dee. I did. 
and I, I was wrong. And now, I'm asking for your forgiveness. And I would also like you to go out with me tonight to your favorite restaurant so we can celebrate each other and your newfound freedom and take stock of our lives. No. No. But why not? I mean, this is a sincere, a real apology. Do you want, what do you want from me? Blood. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm sorry you think that's a little excessive. Oh, a little bit crude. What I want is what I have right now, and that is to be free of Roger Coleridge. He must know that I do not need him, I do not want him, and I will not depend on him. Now, do you hear that? Do you accept that? Do you understand that? Get out of here, Roger. I guess I um, must have come by in the wrong morning. Get out of here. Get out of here right now. Look, if you don't mind, I, I, uh, I think I'll leave. Roger, in case you haven't noticed, I'm still on my feet. Bird, that bar food was the staple diet of the dinosaurs, and they were not killed off by the comet that hit the Earth. They died of malnutrition. Oh, is that a reflection of the bill of fare around this place? No, 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 no. I, I love the food here. I love this place. Actually, uh, Ryan's is about the best thing that's happened to me. Darling, I did... I was not offended. No, I mean it. I mean it. Since I've been in New York on this job, the best thing about it has been meeting your family, spending time here. You wouldn't happen to have a, another daughter that was available, would you? Not a one. <laughs> Shucks. Yes. I have to confess, I sometimes regret that fact myself. My daughters have been a, a unique experience. Well, I think Duffy feels the same way. Boy, I'd like to get the two of you together. Duffy? It's my mother. Oh, of course. Well, that's her maiden name. That's what my dad calls her. He had an aunt, Sheila. Oh, that's my mother's uh, given name. And she moved in with him when he was little, took over his bedroom and smoked cigarettes in there, and uh, my dad doesn't like cigarettes. Smart man. What does this smart man of a father of yours do for a living? He's a dentist. Huh? And when he met Duffy, she was a manicurist at the old Parker house. They've lived a hand-to-mouth existence ever since. Oh! That's no threat. That's Don't blame me. Oh. That's one of Duffy's jokes. Oh, is that where you get that done? Well, 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 everything I know I learned at my mother's knee. Well, almost everything. I'm sure she'd appreciate the disclaimer. <laughs> Do you see much of your family? Oh, just enough to keep them in a nice, warm haze. A little too much reality gets in the way. Ah, I see. We try to get up there for Duffy and Chris's anniversary, though. Oh, I like that idea. Well, Christmas. Christmas is neat with all the nieces and nephews. Mm. But I try to slip in and out as fast as possible, so I, uh, so I don't get on my older brother's nerves so much. Have you never wanted a family of your own, man? Well, I've had one. Uh, briefly. Oh? Uh, yeah, my... My four-year-old son was shot in my arm when I was working on a major mob investigation in Boston. And uh, my wife left me shortly after that. Oh, my dear friend, I'm sorry. Now, the, the, the marriage was iffy to begin with. Uh, I think Duffy's one big consolation was that we were married in front of a judge, so it didn't really count. And that uh, when I came to my senses, I could do the whole thing all over again, you know, according to regulations. Oh, yes, and at the church. Right. Um, I think you see that uh, would have been comfort to you, too, huh? It would, and it has. Oh? Yes, my son Patrick. 